Together for a shared future. 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 Chinese tech giant server Beijing 2021 Winter Olympic Games with 3D and AI. Technology is playing an important role at the Olympic Games. Well, it's being well used in many areas, including sporting, coaching, translation, also catering. So let's see if anybody knows what it is. So a lot about the um, AI technology and the 3D technology that they've been using in the Olympics. I think this is something that's going to stay in the future. First of all, it's, uh, it's stressed a lot of the labor issues. As we all know, the pandemic has completely changed how we work, changed how we interact with people, changed how we do things. So I feel that um, given something like the Olympics, which has a lot of usually a huge crowd. Um, this, using the AI technology and the studio technology to try to compensate for systems that used to be in place but have changed now, I think it's very beneficial. It creates more um, safety for others involved. It still allows events to happen. I feel that studio technology, AI technology definitely has um, really benefited the Olympics and allowed it to continue to run and still be an enjoyable experience for both the attendees and the staff members. As for AI technology being used in the Olympics, um, in, like especially around the Olympics and things like uh, preparing food and other sort of repetitive tasks, um, I think it's a bit double-edged. Like some people really rely on those types of um, jobs where you don't need a lot of skills coming into them, but develop skills as you go on. I think those jobs are critical for some people. However, I do see that we're living in a time where we're already living in a place where those jobs are gone. Like we had people that used to light gas lamps and you know take care of horses for carriages, and those are gone now. And so maybe other jobs will disappear in the future. And I hope we can transition to a society where we have more resources than we really need, and we can give some to people to have a baseline level of existence so they're not struggling to stay alive. 3D and AI is a series of motion data, such as sliding speed, flying high, landing distance, and the rotating angle, can be superimposed with the original picture. 3D and AI is technologies are also used for ski jumpers. The model allows the audience to give a VR close-up viewpoint. AI technology is being used towards like coaching and more of like a, as long as it's not really I guess interfering with the Olympics specifically whether that scores or uh, medals or anything at all I wouldn't say it's you know that too much of a big issue only if it's being taken care of properly and we have the right people in charge of that because we've all seen movies and stuff of AI technology and whatnot now you know that can go wrong but um, yeah honestly I um, I don't think, as long as you know, it's in the right hands. Yeah, I think we should continue using it because there are so many other like scenarios that still could use that technology and not just the pandemic. So yeah, I think we should. Because of the pandemic, the labor force has declined and the AI systems has made a safe management. Not only that, 3D and AI has bring a more pleasure experience to the audience. We believe the development of technology it will become more and more advanced and will be wilder used in more fields.